What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. 75 Capuzzi with another video and we're back at it again at the dealership this time we're going to be checking out uh 2015 Yukon Denali the one that I had showed you guys last time that I went to go check out got sold pretty quick um, I don't know why but I had seen it there I didn't go the following day because I got stuck doing the deal and then went back Monday and it was gone so like I said, I'm not in no rush um Right now we came to a Ford dealer called Hunley. It's like it's like an hour and 20 minutes, but um, I seen this Yukon Denali they have over here, caught my eye. The only bad thing is that they didn't have no pictures because it was just a fresh trade-in. So I'm not even sure what it looks like or I don't know anything about it. So um, I figured why not just come check it out. You know, like I said, we, we're we just window shopping right now. Um, unless it's really what we want, so. I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, it wasn't a disappointment driving all the way over here. And if it's nice, we probably can make something happen. If not, we're going to keep searching. But I don't know. Let's go see if they even have it. They probably already sold it too, right? So let's go inside. What are you driving now? Uh, I got a couple of vehicles. Yeah. yeah. You want something big? Uh, yeah, I need some for the family. I got pickups, so they don't have like the third row seating. So I was really just, just looking around. Um, this is a one owner truck. So you say you still got to get cleaned up? The what now? You still got to get cleaned up? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it um, detailed, you know. Yeah. What the hell is FJ, FJB edition? Probably an add-on badge. I don't see no dings on it. That's good. Should we just get the electric joint? What is this? A Mac. Yeah, don't look too bad. Check out the inside. Yeah, a little dirty. Here looks pretty pretty good shape. Oh, it's no one got a TV. Ain't that weird and got a TV? I thought the knowledge were fully loaded. I never seen one with no TV. That is weird. It looks nice though. I like the interior. Oh, it don't got no sunroof either. Womp womp womp. I mean, I really don't care for the sun. I don't really be using it, but it's just nice to have, right? That's weird. I don't got no TV, right? For being a Denali? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, it depends on, it depends on the package. Oh, okay. I thought they all had. If they had the rear entertainment package, then usually they put the uh, they put the TVs in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even got a sunroof. Right? It's weird. I mean, I really don't know much about it, but I feel like the Denali will have a little bit more it's, features. It's usually, if, if this was ordered for somebody, like, you know, they Oh, they it. probably didn't want the yeah, extra want, features, right? So you get cheaper. Them. Yeah, I get it. Because I don't think this means anything, right? This badge? Yeah, I think that's probably just an add-on badge, right? Oh, yeah. I never really seen that. Yeah. Or I don't think there's an option. Just be like a 
like the lowest Denali package. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is 4x4, four four, yeah. It is. I was looking at uh, is a 4x4. Four four. Is the engine all dirty too? Well, usually when they detail it, they'll, they'll shine it all. Oh, they'll clean it up? Shut thing, gang. Yeah, I didn't even close the door. Ugh. Got the big motor. It's got the 6.2, right? 6 .2, yeah. I wonder where to say the engine size. I wonder where it says the engine size. 6.2 liter. Oh, yeah, I see right there. Uh, we can go drive it. Alright, guys, I'm going to go on this test drive, check it out real quick. Alright, guys, we just got back from the test drive. I mean, the truck is alright. Uh, I really never drove a Denali with a 6.2. Or an Escalade, so I really don't know how they're supposed to feel. Uh, I drove this years before, but they had a 5.3, and I know the 6.2s are different, so um, I'm not sure really. You know, uh, the truck looks alright for the year, it's a 2015, and uh, they're only asking like 18,000 for it, so that's the only reason I'm here for it because I think that's a great deal uh, for a 2015. For a Yukon Denali uh, so that's the reason I came check it out you know it does got a little higher mileage but I don't really care about the mileage this truck's got LS motors and you know I can just always rebuild the motor or whatnot so um, I like it definitely need some tinted windows but I just want to make sure we can make a deal the way I want to make it um, which I will tell you guys once I leave here what was the deal that I was trying to get done and that's the reason I came all the way over here but uh, I'm gonna do some thinking they saying that they still got to detail the truck I mean I don't blame them it's all dirty but I also like the truck because it's a one owner and that means it's only been one owner that owned this and it has a lot of record um, it looks like the back seats were not really used because they look like in good shape they look like they almost never sit on them compared to the driver's side. The only downfall about the truck was not having a TV up there and a sunroof. But uh, like I said, I never, um, I never care really for sunroofs. Um, and the TV, well, all my other vehicles got TVs and we never use them. They use the iPads. What was that one, the SRT? Didn't sound mean. Yeah, it looks like an SRT. So I don't know what y'all think, gang. Should we wait for an Escalade? Should we get a Tahoe? Or, I don't know. Oh, well, it's got the charger thingy right here. You can charge your phone. Those always come in handy when you don't have a cable available to charge it. I always thought that was cool about this trucks, the hideaway compartment. Got heated seats. I think it's got cool seats too. Yeah, it's got AC seats and heated seats. Not really a fan of the wood grain color. I like the um, darker color wood grain, but I mean, it really don't matter. They all have it. I think the Escalades, the Tahoes, and the Yukons, they all got it. So maybe we can just wrap that. I'm not sure. It's got stock 22 inch wheels, which is pretty cool. Tires in the front don't look too good, but I can get some tires. I mean, they look meaty on the inside, but the outside, they kind of like throw me off. Might need an alignment or something. But I don't really see no rust for being a Midwest truck. Uh, I know the underneath kind of look pretty rusty, like rust color, but nothing undercoat can't fix on this. And I mean, that's what we're going to be using it as a daily, so it really don't matter because it's going to go back in the snow.
Well, I'm waiting for them to come back and then uh, see what they say and see if we can make it happen. If not, like I said, it really don't matter to me. Um, I don't need one right now. I'm just um, shopping around, trying to get a deal, right? Who doesn't want to get a deal? All right, I'll get back with y'all once I figure it out. Whew, check that bad boy out. RS7. Bet you CJ would have loved this bad boy. Anyways, guys, well, we made it happen. The 2015 Yukon Denali is going back with me. So, remember I told you guys I was going to tell you how the deal was going to go down? I traded in this bad boy right here, which is a 2013 Infiniti QS56. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, but this truck's always been in the background at the shop. I never drove it. Um, and it's just been there. I had this truck for like three years. And I, it's just been there because um, it had some issues. And I just didn't feel like um, I wanted to fix it or whatnot, you know. just So that was it. That was my deal I kind of wanted to have was that I wanted to do a trade-in, take a new one out. Like I said, this one's a little beat up. Y'all can see. It was fully loaded, but just wasn't feeling it. So, goodbye to the old truck. Oh, I gotta take my car seat. Yep, traded in this bad boy. Now we're taking that bad boy. Look, they washed it. All done? Yep. Thank you. You know where the other keys are at? The what? The keys? Well, I don't know. You um, would have to ask your salesman. Yeah, they only gave me the spare keys. I'm, I need the original keys. Uh, I'm not sure if oh, they have. You want to ask, ask them? The or who? Who was your salesman? Well, I think the porter brought it back. Uh, the porter never moved it, so... Yeah, they it was, washed it. Yeah, they washed it, but they never moved it. Because it was already washed. They just came out and wiped it up. Oh, um, I don't know who the salesman was. Uh, Let me ask that. All right, thank you. So they didn't wash it, huh? They just came and scratched it off with some spray wax. Sounds believable. At least it looks clean, right? We have to take it to A's and go get that. You know, the detail. Oh, it's locked. Oh, but I got the keys. Ooh, let's see if the remote start works. Maybe not. Am I doing it right? How do you make this thing work? I don't know. I guess I might have to. I thought you're supposed to lock it and then press this one twice. Jeez. I don't know. We'll figure out later. I'm trying to get out of here. I've been here for like four hours. So I don't like coming to dealers. But you know we had to do what we had to do. My main concern was trying to get rid of that hoopty over there. And who knows, I probably got another hoopty right here. No gas. Some cheap dudes right here I'll tell you that. Looks like they did a quick rundown. Oh well. But yeah gang, just wanted to show you guys the update. Finally got a truck. Finally got a family SUV. Um, I hope it's gonna last me at least a year or two. You know we'll probably upgrade. Like I said, I still want an escalate, but for now this will do. And this one is a Denali, so it is fully loaded. Besides the TV and sunroof, which I don't care. But y'all see, we got the plates. We're ready to go. I just need my other plate. I don't know where it is. Supposedly, I heard that this dealership had the best prices in the country. But, you know, everybody says that, trying to be a salesman. So, I don't know what they're waiting for. But I'm going to go inside, get my keys, and get my car seat. 
get my belongings and head back home because I got an hour and a half drive so oh great he's gonna move so I can show y'all the truck better but yeah again the comment section let me know what y'all think of my latest pickup the new daily 2015 GMC Yukon Denali can't wait to take it to get tinted and stuff but yeah all right well let's hit the road 